Sharpshooter Pro Arcade Gun was distributed in 2001 by Joytech. It is a Sony PlayStation compatible light gun, which supports gun con and normal gun mode. Unlike its predecessor, which I have covered in episode 121, it attempts to look like the Walter P99. The look is somewhat obscured by a fake flashlight or laser attachment at the bottom of the front. All following entries into Joytech's Sharpshooter series kept the P99 design roots. Like the Sharpshooter before, the Pro variant was given the subtitle Arcade Gun. While at the predecessor, I speculated that this might be a remnant of the not completed, slight moving force feedback, now there is no excuse anymore for Joytech's fraudulent claim. This controller is a decent toy, but not built to arcade standards. The shell looks very nice. Even fine details are molded very well. I suspect that the manufacturer just eyeballed an original Walter P99, as the Sharpshooter Pro doesn't lie nearly as well in the hand. Unfortunately, the two shell halves don't line up well, which causes a sharp unpleasant step at the trigger guard and a notable slit in the front side. My recommendation for low effort gun shells is to have the sides being part of a single shell half and having recesses in the second half. This way, alignment is much less of an issue. The clicky, tactile microswitch based trigger actuates already quite far at the front while offering a lot of further travel, which somewhat ruins the feeling and might be confusing to some players. Sadly, the trigger piece interacts with the switch right at its plunger, which prohibits the player to adjust the travel of the trigger because this section is in front of the switch lever and therefore the lever angle doesn't matter much. The movement of the trigger assembly feels slightly scratchy. The buttons were hidden at existing structures to make the controller look more realistic. The two takedown catches are mapped to the A button and labeled reload. This is unfortunately no error. In normal gun mode, this button acts as off-screen shoot reloading and not a special button. In fact, there is no special button on the gun and the user will be missing it when playing games which rely on it. B is made to look like the striker status indicator and acts as stored in normal gun mode. All three buttons are push button switch based. At the slide stop is a selector switch, which lets the player choose between gun con and normal gun mode. Replacing the made in Germany sign, the fire mode selector switch was put next to the left A. Normal, auto reload and auto reload plus auto fire are the available choices. Curiously, the latter two functions work vastly different from what is to be expected in gun con mode, but work as they should in normal gun mode. In gun con mode, the cadency of the auto reload is 5 shots, after which nothing happens. At the 6th trigger press, no shot is fired, but reload is engaged. In the auto reload plus auto fire setting in gun con mode, the pistol will fire a 2 shots burst at each quick single trigger press. In both controller modes, precision is bad. This is especially the case along the X axis. In gun con mode, the accuracy is bad and gets worse towards the right edge of the screen. In time crisis type games, the gun wouldn't calibrate correctly unless I aimed with an offset towards the left hand side of the screen. This is of course unwelcomed, as besides turning the sights unusable, this also creates a dead zone at the left because the Sharpshooter Pro is a raster scanning light gun, which won't be able to track if pointed off screen. I tested two TVs and on both machines calibration was an issue. Opening the gun I can see that the light sensor is grossly ill placed, which might be the explanation for the necessary calibration offset. The sensor was soldered directly to the board without a holder spacer or similar device, which presumably gives its location a large statistical variance. The good news is that relocation of the sensor would potentially remedy the calibration offset issue. In normal gun mode, the accuracy is surprisingly good. In this mode, I was not able to spot inherent dead zones and the gun calibrated fine. Personally, I don't like the Sharpshooter Pro. It's uncomfortable, imprecise and incompatible to a lot of games. Some gun con games won't calibrate with it and normal gun games which rely on the special fire button, can't be played. I tried every button on and off screen, but nothing is mapped to the special shot. The Sharpshooter Pro was shipped in a blister pack with blue backdrop. 
It was accompanied by a composite sync breakout dongle. The back refers to the reload button as special action button, which unfortunately isn't true for the least bad use case, normal gun mode. The user guide puts its finger on the wound by claiming full compatibility to all standard games. This is the end of the review. My name is Ben. I thank you for viewing.